Hello and welcome to another video of abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss a newly released feature in October 2023 release that is model explorer public preview with calculation group authoring and creating relationship in the property pane. So let me jump on to the Power BI blog blog.powerbi.com which contains the October 2023 release and in October 2023 release we have this feature release which is model explorer public preview with calculation groups let's look at some of the release notes so basically this feature you have this additional model tab what we are getting is basically you can see all your data set semantic model objects in one place and easily navigate between them Finally, full visibility of the semantic model. So it means the semantic model which was not fully visible to us is now visible and there is an additional model option which has been provided near to the table option in the data pan in the model view or relationship view where we can see semantic model and under the semantic model we are now getting calculation groups. Yes you will be able to create calculations group in Power BI desktop and there is no requirement of external tool just to create calculation groups. Other than that, you have culture, majors, perspectives, relationship, role and tables also part of this semantic model tab. Let's read what additionally has been declared here. And new icons are also showing on the data pane. Additionally, new UI changes will continue through December for the data pane and property pane. So we can expect few more changes coming in in the monthly updates. Now this is a example which has been given and now there is a warning which you will see the changes will discourage implicit major. This will come when you create a calculation group because implicit majors is something which do not gel well with the calculation groups. After clicking new calculation group, if you do not have the model property discourages implicit majors turned off, you will be told this setting needs to be on to create the calculation group. So there are few examples which has been given now how to create a calculation group and calculation group item has been explained in this blog. So we will go ahead and try these things out. First of all, what we are going to do is we will learn on Power BI desktop how to enable this feature. So let me jump on to the Power BI desktop. So I'm here at my Power BI desktop and in Power BI desktop, the first thing which you need to do is enable this preview feature. To do so, you need to go to File, Options and Setting. So you go to File, Options and Settings. And then further go to Options. And you will get a pop-up of Options. Under that pop-up, go to Preview Features. Under the Preview Feature, you have an additional Preview Feature that is Model Explorer and Calculation Group Authoring. Once you click on, you have to click on OK. It might require a restart of Power BI desktop. So do that. I already clicked in and pressed OK in the past. So I don't have to restart my Power BI desktop. I can continue as is. So let me press cancel here. You have to press OK. Now let me go to the model view. And inside the model view, you can see I have a model tab. This was the table tab previously available and I have a model tab and in the model tab I can see my semantic model under the semantic model I have calculation group culture major relationship roles tables perspective everything is lying out here if I close it everything get closed now if I click on calculation group I can see in the property pane I see an option to create calculation groups I can see option of creating calculation groups here calculation groups allows us to create a group of majors and while creating the group of major we will be able to use selected major to reduce the number of major. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one example where we are going to create a set of majors 
using the calculation groups. So let's go ahead and try out creation of a new calculation group. And this calculation group I'm going to create for my time intelligence where I'm going to use selected major and apply my time intelligence. Before I do that, let me showcase you my model. I have my central sales table join with the date table, item table, geography table and the customer table all one to many single directional joint perfect star schema. Let's begin our journey for creation of a new calculation group. I'm going to click here, but I have option of clicking at two places under the home tab calculation group or new calculation group under the properties pane in the model view. Once I click, it shows the message which has been shown us on the blog. This change will discourage implicit major. I say yes, I'm fine with that and it will create a calculation group for me. I can click on this calculation group and rename it. I can call it as TI group, time intelligence group. I got my TI group. I, again, I can right click on calculation item and say new calculation item or when I click on calculation item, I do get an option here for new calculation item. Let me click on new calculation item. It gives me a new calculation item, which is basically calculation item two selected major. Let me call it MTD and I'll say calculate. I'm going to use dates MTD in the first one and date from the date table. Now, because the first item is still there, I can utilize it. So I'm going to make it as QTD calculate dates and dates QTD date of date. So now I got two items. Now again, I have option either I click on this new calculation item here or right click. Let me try right click this time, say new calculation item and I get a new calculation. I can rename it here also. I can click here and here I can call it as YTD and look at the option in the formula bar when I press enter or a come out. See YTD equal to selected major and I'll say calculate It doesn't mean that you have to always use selected major. It is not that we always create a calculation group with selected major. I have an older video on calculation group where at one instance, we actually did not use uh, the selected major. We have used the majors and just combined them into um, a group calculation group. Sometimes we do it to convert to major to dimensions. One of the advantage of calculation group that it can convert major into dimension. So all three calculation items has been created inside my calculation group. I'm ready to use this calculation group calculation group. We may not use this selected major always. We can simply group the majors. Also, I have an older video where I have done that kind of stuff. Also calculation group helps us in converting major into a dimension. And that is where sometime we simply come up and club up our majors. Uh, even without using this selected major feature. Now, advantage of selected major features I'm going to show you now. So I go to my report view and inside the report view, let me add a new page from below the plus button and see, I'm going to create a matrix visual. So I'm using uh, on object interactions right now. And because of that, you can see that, you know, my UI has a little bit changed. So you can see all the visuals are available here under the home tab. And then I am getting the suggestions on top of my visual itself that is on object interaction on my matrix visual on the row. I'm going to drop month here from the date table on the column from the calculation group, I put the calculation group name and it's not going to display a data, but don't, no worries. Once we drop a major, it will start showing a major is needed to make calculation group work. And as you can see, it starts showing us the aggregated values. Now, 
as you can see there is always a reset in, in case of uh, ytd you can see there is a reset happening and the values are continuously adding so in this manner what is happening we are able to get mtd qtd and ytd now you will say you could have done by basically creating three mages for net how it is different now, the difference is let me bring in gross now you can see mtd for net and gross let me bring in cogs also you can see net cogs gross i can see mtd for anything okay so in this manner whatever major i drag I've, for that i can get this now we i talked about this major to dimension conversion and we also have some one feature which is known as major slicer which is also something which we can achieve using calculation group now to do that i'm going to go back to model view and if you remember right now i whatever majors i am dragging for all of them it is doing the job of you know showing that but i want to control that number so one of the ways is field parameters which i can do and another way is calculation group itself where we create a calculation group so i'm going to right click here and it said new calculation group so i created a second calculation group and this item i'm going to call as name as net and i'm simply going to add the majors here and let me call this calculation group as majors major group and items as major set this we did not rename last time so this time i'm renaming now in the calculation items we already have a net let's add few more so let me click on calculation item and quickly keep on adding so let me add gross also let me add one more i calculation item and this time i'm going to add cogs see there is a precedence 1 and there is a precedence 0 uh, we have to make sure that the precedence are not same sometime they can cause issue so both the precedents are separate so i would like to add a slicer first of all so i click on the empty space and then i click on the slicer a slicer is getting added below and in that slicer i'll go to the major group and drag my major set now you can see the three of them coming here and now what i need here is basically i'll go to this one the first visual and in the first visual here itself in the columns i am also going to drag major set and let let me remove the majors so i i have added the major set i reduce the value uh, to one this you you just need a major you without major you can't work so you just need a major let's come back to the visual and inside the visualization what i'm going to do is i'm going to expand this now and after i expand you can see all the three majors are available here and they are doing mtd qtd and ytd but now i can click on any of the major and it will work for that particular major now we can create a little bit of dynamic titles and you know can show what is happening here in this manner the calculation group can also create a major slicer for you calculation group is a really powerful feature it allows you to create a set of majors using the selected major where you can use the same calculation group with multiple major with these it also allows you to create a group of majors which you can use as major slicer or major two dimension conversion so the various things which you can do with the calculation group really powerful feature and now you don't need an external tool for it so why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you